Hello everybody, welcome to today's video and today we are going to be doing lunging for respect. Now, unfortunately some horses are easier to lunge than others and Banjo here, not so easy. So uh, he really kind of demands that somebody really make him do what he needs to do and uh, unfortunately, fortunately, some horses really do test you a lot and lunging for respect is going to be your way to kind of show them your resume and see how well you do. So, you've already started, you're in the front. You can't start the horse from the front. You need to start the horse from the side and pay attention to your slack because right there, he's going to step on that. So pick up your slack and get it ready to feed out. Now start moving your whip. Think about pointing the direction you want to go. Point up, point up. Uh, no, with your lead hand. So your right hand is going to point the direction you want to go. You want to start moving the whip with your left. And you need to make sure you're in the correct position. Now, there you go. Now you're too let out with your rope. That's the whole thing. Now, look at where your feet are going. Your feet are in front. You have to be in back, pushing him forward. So your body position is already wrong and you're not going to do anything. You're also not utilizing your whip. That means point the direction you want to go and use the whip and point it towards the part of him that is in your way. So look at how you are really nice and tight right there. I want you to loose out your rein. Just loose it out. Give him a lot more slack. You can't lunge him with like that much rein. There you go. All right. So now walk back. Oh, don't let him move. Don't let him move. Don't, your chin is down. You're telling him to move. Keep your head up. Whoa. Grab him and hold him if you need to. Now, open the door with your hand, the direction you want to get your body in place. Your body is not in place. Push back. Now, move your whip. Move your whip. Move your whip. Good. Move your whip. There you go. Now, get ready for him to pull the heck out of you. Pull and release. Pull and release. You got to get that stance with your lead hand holding and brace that on your hip. There you go. That's a good girl. Look at how nice he's... Now you can release the pressure a little bit as long as he's traveling. So you don't have to move your whip. Just keep it pointed. There you go. Did you want him to trot or do you want him to keep cantering? If you want him to keep cantering, you have to make the signal. Ready? And go. And remember, walk back towards the hip. There, he's on the wrong lead. He's going to get a little squirrely. Get him going. Get him going. You got in the wrong, you got in front of him. That's what happened right there. So you have to be real careful and pay attention. Move your whip, move your whip and point. Point your whip with your right hand. There you go. See the difference? Quit trying to point with your, uh, <laughs> with your hand that's holding the whip. Keep your whip down. Relax it and just point the end of it towards his butt. Point the end of it towards his butt. There you go. Just relax. Just relax that hand. There. Keep it down to the ground. We're gonna play the uh, game. Come on. Oh, <laughs> no, you look down at the ground and look what he did. He stopped. So he did exactly what you wanted him to do and he's licking and chewing right now. So that was a, that's actually a pretty good spot. But remember, if you look down, he stops. Okay, there you go. That's the beginning to lunging in respect. It's very, very hard to do, but it's something that's worth it. Now remember, you do have to keep at it and you have to pay attention to your body and the horse's body at the same time. Wait until you get those signs of respect from the horse. There you go. Keep him moving forward, keep him moving forward. There you go. That's much better trot. Now he's paying attention. Come on. Oh, this is fun. There you go. All right. Let's just get him on track. There you go. That's nice. Now remember, keep your elbow into your side. Remember, you have your lead foot. There you go. That's that's going to keep him moving. That's much better. Now you can release pressure as long as he's moving forward. There you go. 
and just move it once and then release and just keep it kind of pointed towards his butt. Come on. All right, so now we've got him going a little bit better. There we go. Keep, keep him moving forward. He's. Remember, you have to put your weight on your lead foot and kind of pull and release, pull and release. Keep him moving forward. Keep the lunge whip pointed towards his butt. There we go. All right. He's ready to move a little faster. Give him a little bit more line and give him a big kiss and add some pressure and see if we can get a little canner out of him. Ready? Give him a kiss. And push, push, push. Come on, push. Use your whip, use your whip. Now remember, just make motions with your whip forward. Come on. <laughs> well, it didn't quite work. There you go. Remember, when your head is down, he'll face you. So you have to restart at this point. Once you've reset, keep your whip pointed towards his tail. There you go. And be prepared to rock back on your own hip if he pulls. Let's just keep him going forward. Come on. Let's keep him going forward. Uh-oh. Walk to the fence. Walk to the fence. Now pay attention to where he's at. Don't let him wrap around you. There you go. All right. There you go. Hold the fence. Okay. Now change directions with your hand. There you go. Now, from that position, you can't really make him go the opposite way. So, you're going to have to just walk back towards the center. Now, pay attention to what he's doing. Make him listen to you. All right. Come on. Come on. <laughs> he's not cooperating very well. Come on. Come on. There you go. All right. So, now, look at your body position. Point your foot. Now you've, you're going the opposite direction that you want to go, right? So if you want to change direction, you've got to walk back to this way and start the other direction. So get closer to him. Whoa. Remember, lunging isn't the only thing that you're going to do that day, so find a good stopping place. A good canter will work, remember. you got to stay in the right position. you got to keep him running forward. There you go. There you go, good. He's on the correct lead. Let's keep him going forward, good. That's excellent, you can release a little bit. There you go. All right, give him a kiss again and add pressure. And let's get, let's get the canner, come on. Now you got in front of him, get behind him. There you go, good. Let's get the canner again, long kiss. And step towards his butt a little bit if you need to. And go! Make it a strong signal. Come on, ready? Let's go! There you go, good, and release. Woo! <laughs> you released a little early. He needs to keep going. Don't stop there, he just won. Move your whip, move your whip. There you go. Walk to the fence if he's going the wrong direction, or change feet. There you go. Ooh. All right. Now you can change direction and force him to go the other way if you want to. But that was a good stop. So this is lunging for respect. You've got him going in a canter. He's gonna try to pull you, keep him going forward. Don't wrap that around your hand, whatever you do. There you go. Make sure you hold it right. There you go, keep him going. Good girl. Very nice. This is part of lunging for respect, keep him going. There you go. Whoa, let him go. <laughs> and woo. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And remember to see more, check out our playlist.